You guys left a ton of comments on how to make the boat farming formula even better, and we're going to cover those changes. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link my boat farming guide in the description, and this video is adding on to it. The first edition is using the XX4 boat's increased sellback value to sell a farm, allowing us to get a trade empire up faster. Now, to test this, I ran three different trials. The first is where I did not sell a farm and just continued our planned order. The second was selling one of the farms to get a trade empire up and running, and the third was selling both farms, getting the trade empire up, and placing down a few more boats with our extra money. Now, I did the same build order every test, and the results were pretty clear. We had by far the most money when we sold both farms, in second place was when I sold one farm, and in last was not selling any farms. This makes sense if we look back at the ratios we made in the other video and see that the boats are crazy efficient. The next addition is if it is worth getting a 102 village to make all of the merchantmen cheaper. This one I had much more trouble with doing the math because of how many dependencies it has. The first is how many boats it can affect, the more boats that fit in its range, the more cost savings you would make. And the other is it depends on what round you get it on, as the amount of money you make each round will determine how many rounds you delayed your future merchantmen. Now it's tough to determine when or if you should get it as the results can snowball very hard, but if I had to make an educated guess, I would say that if you can get a village on a peninsula like this, so it'll affect a ton of boats, it'll be worth it to get right after the trade empire. The final update we'll cover is if it is worth upgrading the village to a 104 to boost affected boats income by 15%. Now we already determined that a 102 village will be placed right after the trade empire, so we only have to upgrade this guy a little bit. Where this gets tricky is when comparing it to adding a 024 farm that'll increase every boat's income by 10%, as opposed to the villages plus 15%, but only to boats in its range. But with some math, we can make a general rule. We know that at the point where we would be making this decision, we would already have one trade empire and 20 favored trades. So if the village is affecting two thirds of the boats, it'll be an equivalent increase in income, not including what the farm produces by itself. So my general rule is you should make the 104 village if you can get it to affect 15 or more boats. Ideally buffing the trade empire is one of these 15. Otherwise start up the central market farms. Now getting the village to buff 15 boats is a tall task, so you'll normally be getting the farms first, but this doesn't mean you can't come back and upgrade the village to a 104 at the end. In conclusion, the updated ultimate boat farming order is 3 merchantmen, 1 central market, 3 more merchantmen, another central market, and 4 more merchantmen. Upgrade one of these to a favored trades, sell both of the central markets, get a trade empire and a 102 village, then place down 11 more merchantmen to max out the trade empire's buff. Upgrade all these merchantmen to favored trades, and then get 10 024 central markets. Then fill the rest of the water with favored trades boats, and get a 104 village if you really want to.